So here we have Dip Trace, and uh, this basically is a good layout program for free. I think you're limited to a board size, but I think you can draw as much as you want, which is what I like to do. Um, so I exported this as a DXF and imported it into Fusion. Uh, in Fusion, it actually just ends up being um, like this. So this is like the actual drawing itself, and then I flipped it over and grabbed just the pieces I want and extruded them, extruded the holes. Uh, so that's basically the board. And then jumped on over into CAM and uh, then did all my my CAM work, drilling different size holes and the inside and then cutting the outside. So you can actually simulate this. This is, yeah, hold on. Get the whole thing. There we go. You can actually simulate this, which is pretty cool. So I'll have the tool path and the tool. I think I can speed it up. Anyway, so yeah, again, using that uh, uh, hacked post processor, I had to go in here and change a bunch more code to get it to work, but works very well. Not bad. Here is the final result. And uh, wow, it looks really good. Looks real good. Well, as you can see from my bench, I've been uh, pretty heavily working. Um, so I've got some of these sensors here and I couldn't get these quite to work right um, that one I busted out so I could see what the inside looked like but on the end of these sensors they're um, transceivers but I couldn't get these to work but I got the LED side to work they're just an LED but I figured since they're mounted on the end of things I'd just use them and then I got some of these fiber optic cables these are pretty big fiber optic cables um, and I went ahead and just used those they have threaded ends on them okay um, so the end, here's a little box that I'm going to mount my parts in. So this fiber end goes inside there. Then here on the table, I've got the uh, IR, well, the, those are actually photo transistors. So those are going to be inside the box, like that. And then the cables are going to come in. So here's my bundle of cables right here. So these are actually going to plug right in here like that and then the wires coming out of here are going to be in the same box as this probably um, and then yeah so if I plug one of these fiber lines in can't see it it's off camera but I just have a, an Arduino here I'm just pulsing one of these so hit the ground on the ground Oop. and one of these fiber eyes there we go that one is pulsing So the basic idea here is that uh, this bundle is shielded and wired all the way to the end and then I 3D printed these little black brackets and these black brackets just get threaded 
together. They thread the fiber onto the other side and kind of isolate them electrically. Um, and then the fiber is just inside this casing back to the little black end here. So this is the circuit. You can see it hanging off to the edge. Um, and then this, these two go to the photo eye. You can probably hear the relay and the LED flash in there. Um, so this little circuit right here, there is going to be four of them driving the relay bank. So yeah, lots of work. I didn't film most of it, just uh, went at it and got it done. And uh, the relay bank is over there, right here. Oh, it's still out of the frame. There you go, right here. So, anyway, we'll continue on this project. I just wanted to give an update while everything was sort of scattered all over the bench. And, uh, yeah, coming along. Alright, in case you're wondering, here's what the circuit looks like. We've got just a um, photocoupler or photo transistor here. And then we're triggering a, uh, this is a 20, 39. Uh, 2N 3904 uh, NPN transistor and then we're running a, uh, a BD140 I think it is a PNP transistor to drive the relay we've got a protection diode and we've got an LED output um, there's a couple of extra capacitors added in here for um, RF fil filtering and stuff like that but yeah looks like the uh, the um, fastest on time I can get is about 1.7 milliseconds and it takes about 8 milliseconds for this delay to happen on the relay. So you fire it for 8 milliseconds and the relay only makes for 1.7. So that's because of the uh, reaction time and the uh, way the relays actually function. So let me show you what the relay circuit looks like. Well a little update for you. I have uh, basically finished the circuit board. Um, turned out pretty nice. Uh, the solid copper on there can be used as a permanent grounding plane or something, but I don't have it connected at all at the moment. Um, I added some capacitors on there of different kinds and values, um, snubbing slash uh, filter caps to try to catch any of the high voltage. Then there is a, uh, a Zener diode on there. So it shorts out in either direction, basically. And then um, some big filter caps that are a little bit too big for my board, but that's okay. So that seems to work. Uh, then the other side is my box here. Oh, I guess I should untape it before I show you, huh? Let me do that. Yeah, it's better. Alright, so basically, see if you can see in there from the window light. But the IR sensors. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, you can. So right down in there is each one of those eyes, and they hit each laser, not laser, LED output that's here. So you can see these guys flashing. So they get plugged into the side of this. Um, I'm actually going to put this inside the box that will house this circuit board. And that box is right there, being printed at the moment. Looks pretty good, though. And, uh, yeah, basically, this will all be inside of the same box. And I'm going to take some aluminum tape, this thick aluminum tape right here. And I'm going to wrap everything and uh, ground it so that we can make sure we don't have any interference. Um, but, yeah, for the most part, this, uh, this is coming together nicely. i got some LEDs. I'm going to use these style uh, connectors. Um, I could even use some... RF connectors, I guess, but we can always redo that. I got it on here so I can plug the LEDs and the other parts, uh, the inputs for the IR sensors here. So I got a terminal wire, all those. But yeah, I've got uh, quite a mess going on in here, and uh, I need to clean that up. You know, if it's not messy, most likely uh, it's probably just because you're not getting enough done. <laughs> But yeah, the CNC worked really well on that. Alright, I'll let you know when we get to the next stage. Just a short update for you.